This is John 37115. Um, out doing a bit of detecting today. Uh, got permission on a uh, an old home, 1843 it was built. Going to be using the Compass Gold Scanner Pro today. This is the old home we're detecting. Um, beautiful old two story. Um, definitely period home. There should be some nice finds that we should be able to come up with around here. I've got my first target here, sounds pretty good. Bottle cap. I will. Well, okay, I've got another target here that sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty small and it's reading high. Good and solid. in the cloud. Good coin. It's no wheat. Yeah, I just got another find here. Looks like a wheat penny or something like that. Seeing the edge of it there. Close up on it. About an inch deep. Got a good signal here and just dug up an old belt buckle. Looks pretty old, kind of the way it's shaped there. Okay, I just got another good find here. A little Compass Gold Scanner Pro. Looks like a good find. It looks like a big piece of brass. It's down about. Uh, Oh, five inches deep. Looks like I'm seeing a star on it here. I don't know exactly. The stirrup. Wow. It's a stirrup. It's an iron stirrup with a star. Look at this, Daniel. Stirrup, man. It's got a star in it. Pretty cool relic right there. Check it out, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm detecting my buddy Daniel here. And he's got a, what he thinks is a pretty good find here. He's using the Garrett uh, Freedom 1. And he's got something that looks pretty cool down in that hole. He's got a you know, iron, cast iron or something. What's that other piece in there? I don't know. Not clean. Like a seashell or something. What is it? Oh. It's iron. Whatever it is. Huh. I don't know. If any of you guys let, know what that is, let yeah, me know. Yeah, I just got another target here. I'm kind of seeing the edge of a coin. Looks like a silver dime. Uh, right there in my clod. Pull this thing out and see what we have. Yeah, we got a silver. 
Uh oh, that's not a barber. That's not a uh, barber. It's a barber. I can see a date on it there. 1910 barber. It looks to be pretty worn, but I don't want to clean on it any further. I don't want to scratch it up. Well, uh, Daniel just found a pretty cool find here. Found a coin. We thought it was a wheat penny at first, and we got to looking a little closer. And it's a Georgie. It's a 1936 Georgie Canadian penny. That's from my buddy Arthur. Hey, look, Arthur. Just made another cool little find here. It's a little heart shaped trinket. Um, looks pretty old. I don't know. Kind of weird. It's open. It's open there in the front. Okay, I've got another target here that's freezing fairly well. What that is? Now my wife's probably going to kill me because uh, we borrowed one of her towels. Actually, it's the dog's towel we used to dry him, so maybe the dog will bite me. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, you can kind of see some of the the uh, the trash that we dug here at <laughs> this site. There was a there was a heck of a lot of trash, and this bag is just absolutely brimming uh, full of trash. A pair of pliers look like some kind of an odd plier there of some sort. Uh, I believe we figured out this this is an old muffin pan or something like that. You've seen it dug on video. Know if you can see that, but it is a Canadian Georgie. It's a 1936 one cent piece. That's pretty cool and kind of odd to be found in Tennessee. Um, new uh, new penny there and, and a 1966 quarter. Uh, old I don't know what that lid came off of. That's kind of kind of cool. And uh, these little things, we found several of these. These are actually uh, pretty heavy brass. Have a tip on them. This one has kind of something that attached. And I found one of those as well. Um, and I'll come over and look at the good finds that I found today. Of course, I got this one on tape. I lucked out and got that. The star. It actually has a star inside a star on an old stirrup. Uh, pretty cool find. There's a piece of a little, uh, looks almost like a lady's uh, spur. And the rowel actually was in pretty decent shape until uh, until I carried it around my patch and it got broke. Uh, there's the, the brass thing, if I can get the shadow off of it. Neat little buckle. It's the uh, 1910 Barber Dime, the little heart shaped locket, and a couple of wheat pennies. And pretty cool little find there was the, uh, the little cuff links. I think they're just uh, silver plated. But uh, that was pretty much the day. You can see we really carried some trash out of there. I would say probably 30, 40 pounds.